So this video is sponsored by Cyberpower UK. They build a lot of awesome PCs. If you do want to go check it out, I will leave the link down in the description. Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Heroes video here today. And today we're going to be showcasing one of the brand new legendary characters called the Shooting Stirfruit. I think that's what it's called, but um, this is the deck that I've currently made up. Uh, it contains four of the Shooting Stirfruit. It also contains two of the uh, the Onion Rings Legendaries. Now, I haven't tested this deck out just yet, but uh, let me explain what I've been going for here. So, the Shooting Stirfruit, the, uh, the ability of it is that it attacks in all five lanes. So, that means that if it deals two damage, it's going to deal two damage in all five lanes. So the best place where you're going to want to place this is in the very left lane, because that means it's going to deal damage to all the other lanes, potentially take zombies out, and then the rest of those plants can also hit the heroes. So I'm trying to buff the shooting star as much as possible. So I've got onion rings here, which I can use, which will, which will make it instantly a 4-4 in my hand, which will be very powerful. Uh, if we have a lily of the valley already on the table, then as soon as we place this down, it's going to become a 4-4 anyway. Because we want to place it on heights. Um, these coffee beans here. That's just a... It's a bean environment. Uh, I'm using environments so I can mix them with this plant, the leaf blower. Because then it will bounce a, a zombie and uh, potentially save uh, the shooting stir fruit in the left lane. If you do bounce a zombie. And we can also buff them and uh, different things like that. So uh, this is the deck we're kind of going for. Um, I've not tried it yet, so hopefully it's going to work. But we definitely want to put the shooting stir fruit in the very left lane. And we want to try and buff it. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find a multiplayer game. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right, so here we are, guys. We're playing against a Super Brains character. And straight off, we start with the Onion Rings Legendary. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of it, though, because we've got the Grocery Room. We've got this one, which is a trick where all plants and heights and environments get two extra attack and health. Well, the Shooting Star Fruit is going to be on the left anyway. So uh, that kind of works out. So I'm going to get rid of the Onion Rings. Um, oh, I just really want to try and find a Shooting Star Fruit. Unfortunately, we don't start off with one. So I guess we're going to have to see if we can draw one very quickly. We can only use it on turn five anyway. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, we're not going to play anything this turn. We'll let him attack. Look at the second imp. Look, there's an imp just hidden under his jacket. Just hidden. What's even the name of this one? Mustache Imp Zombie. An imposter. Alright, there's Lily of the Valley. That's going to become very handy. We can use that maybe like on turn four maybe or something like that. I don't know. We're not going to use it just yet either. Uh, we just want to try and wait for a little bit. I do want to try and get a shooting star fruit onto the left. Oh, he's used a, a trick. So he's going to start off with one extra brain. That's not good. Not good at all. There we go. There's the shooting star fruit. All right. So he's got four brains available. What could this be? I generally have no idea what that could be. Um, I think I'm going to call in my Lily. And I'm going to bounce this this mustache. Because he's, he's already dealt quite a bit of damage to me. So uh, let's see what this is going to be. Uh, oh, a kite zombie. All right. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Don't destroy my Lily. Do not destroy my lily. Thank you. Leave him on the board. So uh, this turn we're going to be turn four now. Next turn we can use the shooting star fruit. Provided that our lily of the valley is still going to be there as well. Because that means it's going to get buffed straight away. That's going to be handy. I might even use a grocery room this turn to buff my lily. So that this is going to be a 4-4 four, four at the end. I just hope that super range doesn't have a rocket or anything like that. Alright, you're placing the imposter up at the top. What should we place down here? You know what? I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna grocery room this lily. He's actually... this. Uh, gro oh, no, that was a mistake. I didn't... I totally forgot that my grocery room's gonna get take... That gonna get buffed. Please take my grocery room out now, please. That, must, that was a mistake right there. Oops. So you don't want to make mistakes like that. That's kind of stupid, isn't it? I, I totally forgot that Lily is going to buff my Grove's Room. So my Grove's Room is going to survive this turn, which means I can't use the Shooting Star Fruits on the very left lane. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. At least we took the Imp out, though, I guess. All right. There's a block. Um, Should we use it? Yeah, let's use it. Why not? Get, a, get five damage on him. There we go. And he's blocked one every single time so far. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. Please take out my grocery room. 
Please take him out. I would like an environment, to be honest. All right, there's another mustache zombie. Did you get the same? Did you get the same one as what I had? I think you might have got the same one that I had. Uh, what should we place down here? Oh, this is amphibious. I did not know this was amphibious as well. All right, I'm, I'm going to take out this kite zombie. We'll see how this goes. One thing I'm curious about as well with the shooting star fruits is it attacks, attacks in all five lanes. No! Oh, no. Um... You're going to freeze me as well. Uh, if it attacks in all five lanes, does that mean it attacks the hero as well? Or is it just the zombies? I think it'll attack this, the hero as well. So if every lane's empty, you're going to deal a lot of damage to the hero. That's pretty crazy right there. All right, we lose our growth room. What turn are we on now? Are we on turn six now? If we're on turn six... Yeah, turn six. I might, I might hold off on... I might hold off. On uh, my shooting star. For a little bit. Alright, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe playing an environment and then bouncing this this on the left here, this moonwalker. That's what I'm thinking of doing, so... Uh, let's... Double strike. Oh, I did not know that was double strike. Alright, so we'll place this down here. There we go. Then we'll place you down. And you can bounce him on the very left. Look at that animation. I love that animation. That's a really cool animation. Alright, what are you going to place down? A zombie does a bonus attack. Oh no, you're going to do the middle zombie, aren't you? Oh no. Yeah. Well, double strike isn't going to do anything anymore, I don't think. Double strike's like what the repeater has and stuff. Bye bye. No! He goes down. Alright. We get another shooting star fruit. Alright. I guess if we lose this first one, we can use another one. So what I'm thinking of doing is we're going to lose this first shooting star fruit. That is an awesome looking imp. Look at that guy. That looks awesome. All right, you got your two brains left over, so you can't rock it. Um, okay, so I'm going to lose my shooting star fruit regardless. So I'm going to place a lily down. I'm going to place Lily down here. Then we're going to use our shooting star for it. This is going to buff it to 4-4, four, four, so it will do 4 damage in every single lane. But uh, let's take a look at this um, this animation. We will be able to use another shooting star for it next turn as well. And uh, we could potentially... No, we can't. That, using this would be a very good combo as well. You make it a 2-3 space cadet? It don't matter because the shooting star fruit is going to take it out. Wow, look at that. That just wrecks everyone right there. Oh, man. I didn't see the block then. What was the blocks that that was then? I didn't take notice. Did that fill up too much? I generally have absolutely no idea. Are you playing the trickster? Hopefully you don't have a rocket. A rocket would not be good right now. Don't have bonus attack either. Um... All right, we're going to place the shooting star down. If he's got a bonus attack, that's it. I've lost. I'm just trying to think of the best strategy to use. Four, five, six. Oh, oh, if he has a bonus attack, we'll still survive. Hopefully, he's not got a rocket. Don't have a rocket. Please do not have a rocket. If you have a rocket, then you're probably going to win. Draw two cards. Oh, he's not used that yet. Oh, I thought he would use... Oh, he might have just got that then. And he didn't have enough space. And then he concedes... Oh, uh, he knew he was going to lose. He knew. I, I One thing which I was curious about was with a block meter, I don't know how that worked. Oh, that seemed to... F I, I, I can't remember how much the block meter filled up um, before it popped itself. But, um, yeah, I generally have absolutely no idea. I'm going to need to take consideration notice of that next time. Because I thought that filled up more than three. But uh, I guess we'll have to have uh, another look. So we're going to play another game. We'll try and get another shooting star fruit. Uh, well, this time we're playing against Infinity. So, uh, let's see how this one is gonna go. Hopefully we can get a shooting star fruit to start off with. And, uh, the Lily and the Valley combo with the shooting star fruit works out, uh, pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about that one. Alright, let's swap you. We got a Lily, we still need the shooting star fruits, but these card values, they're, they're pretty low. So that's good to start the game off with. We just need to hope that we can get a shooting star fruit by, like, turn 5 or something like that. That's what we want. So let's start off by doing 5 damage as well. There we go. Block twice, that's fine. Okay. Give us a shooting star fruit. Nope, that's another lily. 
Which would be good, but it's not what we wanted. You want to place two of those down? Okay. I might place a lily down now, to be honest. It's going to survive, and then we can use something to buff the left lane a little bit better next turn. Come on. What are you going to give us? A banana. This is powerful. This this crunches a banana. And I think there's only like four bananas in the cards. There's Bananasaurus Rex, there's Brain Anna, there's a banana split, and then there's another one, and there's like literally so many cards that are like only bananas and they're very powerful. Uh what should we go for here? We could do a gross room. That's gonna save the Yeah, that's gonna save the Lily, and the gross room's gonna get buffed as well because of the Lily. So, um, that's a good combo right there. I was tempted to use this, but then I thought I'd rather it not deal three damage to me, so... I think this was the better option. These are these are just good on team-up, because they, they have team-up, and you can just put them in the left lane, and they become a 4-3. When there's a Lily Valley on the floor, and it's really powerful. Give a shooting star! Not what we wanted. Can you put an imp down? Okay. Uh... What should we place down now? I might just place this down. We'll place this down and we'll move you to here. Just so I can get a banana. We get a brain anna. Nice. Should we place this down up there? Uh yeah, let's go for it. Why not? We got the lily on the on the ground, so let's go for it. Hopefully we can get a shooting star next turn. I mean like we're not gonna be able to use it on heights, but that should be fine. There goes my lily. Well, we got another one, so that's fine. We got a backup. And her black-eyed pea gets buffed. Thank you. This left lane has got so much damage right now. Look at that, it's got eight damage. And this guy is not blocking very much. Oh, I could use onion rings, which is gonna make everything powerful. Why? What? Why did you put that zombie in the left lane? Because you've no brains left over, so I'm going to do 8 damage to you. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, so I'm going to use this onion rings. We're not going to use the shooting star for it this turn, I don't think, but we'll use the onion rings, which is going to make everything 4 4. I'm pretty happy about that. We could technically win this turn, provided that the Gargantua doesn't throw the imp in the right lane and the blocks are very kind to us. Alright, so if that Gargantua goes into the water now, we win. Let's freeze him anyway. Yeah, if he throws an imp into the water, we win. Where are you going to throw it? Into the left lane. I forgot that you could have the left lane and there we go, there's another win. Very quickly, we actually used onion rings for the first time. Onion Rings is going to be very powerful with Mushroom decks, especially if you like like Shroom for 2s. Because then you're making it a 4-4 four, four for one, 1 cost. Basically, Onion Rings, you want those in decks where you've got a lot of 1-1 one, one cost, uh, uh, one cost cards. Wait till the Onion Ring, you get it, use it, and then everything just becomes ridiculously buffed. Probably very good for uh, cards. You want like cards where you draw a lot of cards as well. Like decks like that where you can draw a lot of cards. That would where you want Onion Rings to work. Because you've got you're gonna be drawing the cards to try and get onion rings, but you also got a lot of cards in your hand, which you'll then have to make 4-4. Four, four. Pretty powerful. Alright, let's swap you. We've got another onion rings. Uh let's let's swap you. Gross room. Nope. Not what we wanted. Alright, Yeti. We've actually played against three different heroes, which is kinda nice. Usually you get used to playing the same hero over and over again when you play ranked. It's nice to play against different heroes. This this card, I like this card as well. This just steals a bit of the uh, of the block meter. Let's place it down. It's good if you only block one. If you block one and then it takes it away, it's like it's got bullseye. But if you block more than one, you're still taking a little bit off, aren't you? It's not bad as well. It's one one sun for two two as well. Use an environment. Alright, so we block three. Then you're going to take one away. So technically, he blocked two. 
Give me the shooting star fruit. Okay, well that's going to be a bit of a problem. Should we grow shroom it? Or should we banana? I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this imp over to the middle lane. There we go. We get a banana split and I think I'm going to use this here. There we go. I could have grown. Uh, I could have used a grow shroom on that on that left plant though, what steals a bit of the block meter, but Oh well, it's fine. There we go. There's the shooting star fruit. That's what we want to. We've also got this as well. A plant that gets 2-2, two, two, so that means on turn 6 we could use that and it becomes a 4-4 four, four straight away. Pretty happy about that. So let's use this banana split here as well. There we go. That's a 4-4 four, four and it's really nice, so... It should take out the Dracula imp, provided that Brave Freeze doesn't do a trick, which is annoying. Freeze all plants on the ground. That's a really annoying super. So I might use Shooting Stir Fruit turn 6. Oh, turn 5. I could use that turn 5. Wait a minute, what was that in what was that trick? I can't remember what that trick was. No, the Dracula's gonna gonna buff himself. Oh, he's gonna be freeze all plants on the ground now. What's it gonna be, Brain Freeze? Doesn't use it. No! Now he's buffed. Alright, I'm thinking of using Onion Rings this turn, I think. It's going to make my Stair through to 4-4 four, four straight away, and the next turn I can place it down. Then I can use this, and it's become a 6-6, six, six, which is pretty powerful. What was special about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing special at all. Alright, let's use Onion Rings. That's going to buff everything to 4-4. Four, four. Well, it's going to buff two things to 4-4. Four, four. There we go. You can take it out now. I don't think Brain Freeze has rockets either, does she? Does she? Does he? I don't think he has rockets. So we should be potentially good in the next round. There's Antihero. My Black Eyed Peas getting some. No! Oh no! Stop buffing! Oh, that's going to become an 8-7. Well, it's going to have 8 damage. Please block now. Please block. 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 Oh, you're kidding me. We're not blocked once yet. Really? Uh. Literally, if we're going to win this now, we need to rely on, on the stair fruit. You've got three brains left over. I'm going to use it. There's a four. Now you're going to be a six. You've got to take everyone out. This stair fruit cannot get taken out right now. Otherwise, that's a loss. Come on. This stair fruit could win it for me right here. I, I could take him down to one health at the end of this turn. Actually, no. I could win this turn. Bounces on me and it gets 2-2. Two, two. I thought he was going to bounce a plant then. Actually, if he doesn't take out my stair fruit, no, that's going to be a win. That's going to be a win right there. All right, so I've blocked once. Stair fruit. There we go! Look at that! Kaboom! Oh man, that stair fruit is powerful. Especially if you can get it working well together. It does work well with the onion rings, uh, the lily of the valley, the grow shroom, all of that stuff. It works very well, and you do want to put it in the very left lane. But uh, there we go. There's some gameplay showing off the, um, the shooting stair fruit. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you do give it a like down below. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Fusions, and hopefully... I'll catch you guys next time.